Welcome back to Anderton's TV. My special guest today is back in the house. It's Digital John. Digital John. Hello, hello. Um, I feel like we've bit monochrome here today. Yeah, not intentional, actually. Yeah, like, and I suppose I've got some blue jeans, and we've coloured yeah. in a white pedal green just to try and uh, add some colour. Don't flip anyway, it over. don't flip it over. Don't flip it over. Let me just. Yeah, it's got rude words. Right. <laughs> uh, welcome everybody to our demo of the new Black Star. Amped One. Yeah. Uh, actually, I've seen this referred to as Amp One uh, in some marketing, but it's not. It's Amped Past mm. Tense <laughs> yeah. One. And this is uh, this is a, a, a product that I think you're seeing more and more um, manufacturers and brands now mm. going down this route of saying this is a hundred watt amplifier in you know a large pedal, but yeah. still very much a pedal with a variety of, of tones in it, US, UK, different power amp emulation type things. So 100 watts, and what you heard in that beginning bit is us just driving a 212 cabinet, just like you would with a normal amplifier. Also, for later in the demo, XLR output to go into a desk using Blackstar's cab rig uh, cabinet simulation software. Um, Built-in reverb, the option to program a preset. I mean. It, a variety of power output um, settings. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 really changing, I think, isn't it now? What uh, the sort of gigging guitar player might choose to take to a gig. You know, yeah. it's like your, your your conventional head combo kind of thing. Now it's like, well, now the lines are blurring between digital and analog kit, especially. It's um, really going to hit a good place in the market. I think. Yeah. So. Um, I'm going to take you through some of the settings, just so you know. John's guitar is plugged into a, a JHS Series Three Screamer uh, that we've coloured in green. Um, that goes into the front end of the uh, Amped One through the effects loop, which we're not using yet. Is another Series Three reverb. Um, it's got some pretty cool um, ins and outs on the back here. So we've got MIDI. We've got um, a couple of outputs for the for speaker cabinet, depending on whether you're on an 18 or 16, uh, sorry, 8 or 16 ohms. Uh, got this kind of, not sure if I really like this, but hey ho, it is what it is. We've got a, an effects loop on a stereo input, so what you do get out the box is this little Y cable to give you an actual send and return. What that does is it just means Blackstar only need one socket on the back. Uh, yes, that was our ins and outs. Talked yep. about MIDI, didn't I? So um, let's just. Oh, sorry. Have we talked much about the cabric on the side? You've got a jack, line out, TRS, or XLR, depending on yep. whether you're going into an interface or, you know. You can run whatever. headphones on the outside, nothing on that side. So let's no. just get into the tones first of yep. all. Um, that initial tone that John had was a fairly uh, cranked UK um, preamp setting into some 6L6 emulated. Uh, power tubes, yep. but if we just go clean first, so what you would call USA, I say clean, it's USA for me on this, it's not doing the Mesa Boogie end of USA, it's no, doing it's the more Fender kind that, of. Yeah, begin with F and end with Ender. <laughs> <laughs> the moon that yeah. the Ewoks were from. Um, so again, uh, USA gain about halfway, we'll leave it on the 6L6 setting and we'll use the internal reverb on here for now. I need to disengage the preset mode, don't I? Um, so here we go, here's our USA sound. That's great. Uh, it's Pleasant. A really yeah. usable kind of tone that you could run you know, pedals into. Um, Using that setting, I think I will just whiz through the output responses. So uh, if you're familiar with valves or tubes, depending on what you call them, you'll know that, um, you know, KT88s, 6L6s, 34s, blah, 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 they all add a slightly different flavor mm -hmm. to, the, to the sound of the amplifier. Um, so we'll whiz through them. And this is Blackstar's kind of, obviously there are no valves in here. So this is just their emulation of what that sound would do. Let's yeah, have a little mm -hmm. listen. I'll do something a bit more percussive for this because they okay. do have like an EQ and a feel shift. I right. think so. Mm. 
6L6. Like way more upper mids. Like yeah. That. Thirty fours. Six V sixes. And eighty fours. Okay, the final one is linear <clears throat> and actually kind of, I think, designed to go with its flat mode up here. So if we would prefer to use the Amped One as a flat response power amp for a digital modeler like a mm -hmm. neural QC or something like that, um, we'd go flat, linear, boom, and then we've just got a 100 watt power amp with a three band EQ. Yep. And I've got to be honest with you, this is going to kick the ass of something like a Seymour Duncan power stage now because it's so affordable relative yeah. to that, in my opinion. Sorry, Seymour Duncan, please feel free to counter that argument with why yours might be better. But yeah, I kind of feel like this is about 400 quid. So you've got a lot, yeah. you know, you've got a lot of stuff uh, in here as well as the option to use it as, a, as an amp for your... Uh, modeler. For those modeler people who do want stereo, we're not sure. I mean, you could probably route this in the way that does stereo if you're smart about it and maybe get two for the price of a 700 power amp. But I don't think this does stereo, does it? No, I think does. I think the only way to do stereo with something like this is to buy two of them. Yeah. Um, but that's a small thing. Maybe. A small thing. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're back to the... You, that was a little whiz round some of the, um, the valve output settings. Uh, it does... I think a lot is made of... You know, old Marshalls sound like Marshalls because of EL34s and Fenders sound like Fenders because of 606s. Mm -hmm. I think way too much is made of that. It's a fairly marginal feel breakup thing mm -hmm. rather than necessarily a wholesale change of the tone. Anyway, yeah. um, let's see what um, let's see what we can do in terms of driving this USA side. And I'll stay with 6L6s, a fairly traditional American kind of sound. Mm. Right, so it yeah. stays really clean Loads all of the way up. Yeah. yeah, so it's really, again, not going anywhere near what you might describe as American-driven um, sound. Um, UK, uh, do, you want to, do you want to just do that playing thing and I'll whiz through the, the power settings as well on yep. that, kind of just to give a sort of a bit of a flavour of what they do. So here we go. Excellent. Um, I mean, let's see if it'll do like, does it do a low gain UK sound? Let's have a little listen. That's yeah. interesting. So the UK nice. setting's got quite a range, whereas mm. the US setting is just like clean, 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 isn't it? But um, okay, we uh, wanted to see what it was like with pedals, mm. uh, both in the front end and through the effects loop. Um, the reverb in here is a digital reverb. I'm pretty sure it's the same digital reverb that Blackstar used in a lot of their HT amplifiers. It's never had, for me, the kind of the tail and the decay and the expansiveness of like a big Fender reverb or something like that. Mm. So I kind of feel like, you know, we just grabbed another reverb pedal because I think it's you can you can make some quite big improvements to the tone of this by using an external reverb through mm. the effects loop. Should say as well, we are powering the pedals off of the yes. nine volt outputs on the Very back, handy which is kind of that. cool. Yeah. Um, so let's we'll we'll try a, a clean sound with a big reverb, and then we'll try a tube screamer in front of the gain sound just to see if we can get that slightly more, you know, higher gain American sound. So if I switch off this reverb, and I'll turn this reverb on. Oh, it's really nice. nice. Yeah. Um, 
might leave that reverb on, but on a sort of a lower setting. Do you want to see how extreme this reverb goes? Sure, to that? Yeah. absolutely. So, so here way. we go, extreme. It's really short. Short decay, yeah. yeah. Is it like a room hall? I mean, that that's kind of like, uh, I don't actually have a great deal to criticize about this, to be fair. But I feel, you know, in the balanced reviews, you should always criticize something. And yeah, I think the reverb is is not its biggest I selling I think feature. I read if you hold reverb, it freezes. So can you, if oh, I yeah. do a... let's try oh. that. So... I, I swear it says that in the thing. Really? Yeah. I never saw that. When reverb is on, press and hold the foot switch for a freeze effect. Uh, it wasn't on before. Okay. Oh, a freeze effect. How cool is that? And then you play over the top of that. So let's do that maybe, and then okay. let's do like a... Oh, okay, so you need to hold it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so it'll be like a tail thing where you're like... I, I wonder if someone's <laughs> almost realised that as they're writing the manual that does that by accident and they just sort of oh, <laughs> include that feature. Yeah, I'm not... I, well, there you are. It, do, it does it. You're, you're it definitely right. definitely has its use, I think, yeah. Um, haven't touched on the preset thing yet, and actually, while you've got the manual out, it would be worth looking. It's my understanding that it's one preset. It is. So you have one preset, uh, and then which is not where the knobs are set. That's obviously, and then you undo the preset and you go back to wherever the knobs are set. Um, I don't think via MIDI you've got like 128 presets. I'm I pretty sure when going through Cabrig as well in the Architect, you can only have one preset on that. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, now let's see what the um, let's see what the tube screamer does because one of the things John and I were saying with this was that on its kind of reasonably you know high gain mode it still doesn't really do that very modern metal sound but you introduce the tube screamer and we definitely get more into that sort of domain so here we go without. <laughs> So, pretty versatile. I mean, Absolutely, yeah. I, I think I inferred that this was about four hundred pounds earlier in the video. So let's just let's just talk about that now because it is absolutely about four hundred pounds. Mm. So it's um, yeah. I mean, it's a bucket load of stuff at the moment. The the, the products that, that 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 are sort of in and around this category is you've got Milkman and Victory doing something yeah. about twice as expensive, but uh, Valve you know, with valves yeah. in and a little bit bigger. Um, I can't remember, the cabinet simulated output on the Milkman is an is just an analog XLR. So yeah, I can't. The, I can't use that the one. Victory's a two notes uh, torpedo uh, yep. output. This is proprietary Blackstar technology in here for the output. We'll talk about that in a minute. We're mm -hmm. gonna plug it into our desk. You've got lots of little versions of this, like, you know, Orange do the little micro Terra pedal yes. thing that does, you know, it's 20 watts or whatever it is. But none of those really small ones, I don't think are really viable gigging solutions. Mm -hmm. They're just a bit of fun for, you know, messing around with it in smaller scenarios. Yeah. So this is definitely as a, as a gigging solution, um, probably the most affordable product of its format. Yeah. Uh, the 100 watt thing's interesting as well. When, when I know on pretty much every other amp in this uh, format, the, 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 the power output it says it is, is the maximum power output you get at four ohms. And then right. as you drop to eight ohms with a cab, it halves. And then if you go to 16, it halves again. Mm -hmm. So some of those, you know, 100 watt ones with a 16 ohm cab are only actually 25 watts. Yes. Uh, this has some sort of impedance matching going on at the back here. So as long as you use the eight ohm Mm -hmm. uh, speaker output for an 8 ohm cab or the 16 ohm one for a 16 ohm cab, uh, you'll get the full 100 watts. Yeah, then you won't um, blow anything up. Yeah. It doesn't appear that it can go lower than 8 ohms. So if you had two 8 ohm cabs, yeah. for example, you wouldn't be able to daisy chain them up. Um, 
It looks great, doesn't it? I love this yeah. little glow in the dark y kind of light on the front. So, shall we try it now through the. Uh, yeah, through the doodars. The old DR, yeah. yeah. We are now plugged uh, direct into a desk. We've got a mono XLR output on the side here, straight into our uh, interface. Mm -hmm. um, you can see I've unplugged the speaker cabinet. You, you absolutely can run both at the same time. Yep. Um, the cabinet emulated output has its own separate volume on the side. So although the master volume is still the overall volume, uh, you can separately adjust the output of the uh, the cab output, but we're just, for the time being, just going to be listening to it through some little speakers. Um, pretty much everything is the same about what would go on on the top, the, what's now not working. We didn't really talk about this in the uh, beginning segment, but you've got this option of switching between a 1 and a 20 and a 100 watt power section. Mm -hmm. um, that's not really doing anything to the tone of the sound. It's simply just how much volume comes out of the. the it does change the response a bit. Does it? Yeah, and a bit like more sag. You know. Okay. That word. Interesting. Uses. Yeah. Um, you probably noticed we were on the twenty watt mode the whole time. Uh, so, looking at the uh, looking at what you get now when you download the cab rig software. This is actually I think the software is actually called Architect, and cab rig is what they sort of call the the output. Yeah. So. You can see a nice big uh, graphic representation of the uh, Amped One. If I move knobs, they move on the screen. Similarly, I can use the mouse to um, turn stuff up and down, but obviously doesn't move the knob on the Amped One. Um, the main thing that we're using this software for is to decide what cabinet yes. uh, we want it to come through. So what cabinet, what kind of microphones. Uh, Blackstar have... Uh, Architects is completely proprietary Blackstar software. So free download. You, yeah, it's free. Um, you may have had some experience with IRs before. Mm -hmm. You might find them terribly complicated. You might love them. Uh, but you cannot load third party IRs into Architect. Um, almost a bit like Universal Audio, really. They've just gone on their own mm. path and they do their own thing. So if I hit the speaker cabinet, uh, little icon at the bottom, mm -hmm. you can see now that we've got um, various speaker cabinets, and I'll show you how to change these as well. And the uh, whilst there are dozens and dozens, in fact, I'll show you, those are all of the different cabinet options that you've got, and then yeah. there's different miking options for all of those. Uh, you can store three different cabinet options within cab rig. So when you unplug it and you take it to your gig, you've got three different options at the flick of a switch on the side. Um, microphones same kind of idea so you've got six different microphones there and then using the the control panel here you can see you've got some eq you can choose the kind of room that you might want to be in uh, room will also add uh, reverb so you've got yep. lots of different reverbs in here as opposed to just the single reverb in fact that would be cool wouldn't it be cool if you could load the reverbs from architect into the right, pedal rather ones, than have yeah. the preset one but anyway um so let's just, uh, if, if John now plays, we'll do the same as we did before. So we'll, we'll get a nice kind of clean sound. Uh, I'll use just the room reverbs now, I think. Uh, and uh, we'll see what that sounds like direct. You know what? It's still, even on its biggest reverb setting on here, it's still not. It needs more. Like yeah. what I would. So I think I'm going to go back to use it. Not. No, I'm not. I was going to say if I was using this, I would want to use a separate reverb pedal. For, but yeah. for the sake of this demo, I will just continue using this large room reverb here. So um, let's try that now through some different cabs. That was a 212 Classic UK cabinet. Let's try and find. Uh, a classic USA open back cabinet to be a bit more fendery. Can I have reverb from here and reverb from here? Just try it with just, the room and that. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure. Do a... yeah, it's kind of the same reverb just on top of each other, isn't it? But is that doing anything? No. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. But you've got to turn it up almost more to compensate. It's almost no point adding that in, I think. Right. So here's our 212. Sorry, you carry on.
there you go. Lots of different cabinets. Uh, what what is the microphone on here? Let's have a little look for the time being. Four, it's currently four, a four one four. What would I rather have? Uh, we can't double mic on this, can we? No, just the one cab. No. Okay, so let's try a ribbon. Let's go old classic. Uh, Roya 121 and then maybe go back to that open back 212. I thought that sounded nice. <laughs> We, let's have some, let's make the room a little, sort of like a medium room, and let's have some excessive reverb. That's as good that's a nice. that's yeah. as good a clean sound as you're probably likely to hear di'd into a pair of speakers. That's I can't, great. you know, like yeah, nothing, feels good. Nothing really to complain about there. Uh, let's go gainy now. So we'll dive on over to our UK sound uh, with. I'll go gain halfway. So we'll stay that sort of crispy. Oh, and change the cabinet and the microphone even. So we'll go. <laughs> 412 Classic UK, and we'll put a 57 on it, I think. Something like that. Just old school. And turn it up. <laughs> there are some pieces of technology that you still have to do manually, yeah. aren't there? You know? Uh, I, I, yes, back? I didn't like that first cabinet. That was called the 412 Classic UK. This is called the 412 Vintage UK. It, you know, for those of you that play guitar and maybe you just take for granted the speaker that happens to be with your in your amplifier or whatever, yeah. it's like that. It's it's like it's a massive difference. Yeah. Fifty percent of the tone, thirty percent of the tone. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's like it's huge. So the you know the right speaker with the right amplifier sounds infinitely better than the wrong speaker with the right amplifier. Yep. Anyway, as we perhaps just demonstrated a bit here. So, uh, so let's keep playing. That was a mid gain thing. Let's go a bit gainier still. Maybe go more six L six kind of gainy, Let's and we'll we we have changed the mic now to a four two one. Um, and I'm going to go back to that vintage UK four twelve. Let's send it good. <laughs> Tube Screamer. Nice. I think there's a lot going on there. Um, come on in, John. You've had one of these for a few days. Mm -hmm. um, this is my first ever uh, little foray into it. I was playing it a bit before you arrived and kind of enjoying it. But what's your what's your vibe? I think it's a really useful, like for guys who are digital modelers, it's almost a no brainer to have as a backup for like, if you want to cab live and if you have the luxury of having some sound on stage, 
which is becoming ever rarer by the day. But if you do, it's really handy because um, you can literally just bang it in with a single cable and it comes out into a cap. Really great. And the flexible three band EQ is really great as well. Um, but if you're a bored guy and you just want to have, again, a really simple amp solution and you don't have to rely on, I don't know, a big old heavy amp head, um, if it's not that integral to your sound, like if you just want it for the, you know, if you just run it into a clean amp, I think the USA model on that will probably do justice. Mm. I mean, mm. I'm not an authority on that sort of thing, but I think it will. And obviously flexible, you know, power outputs. I think it's really just nifty is the word I'd use. In American, that means flexible, but in British, it just means, you know. It just means lot. nifty. Yeah, nifty. Yeah, nifty. Yeah. Um, I, I, I sort of concur. I, th I think for me, the biggest market for this kind of product is is the guitar player that, that is maybe kind of semi-professional or professional and just needs to have pedal board in a you know little pedal train board with one of these and three or four pedals around it mm -hmm. and he can just literally jump on the tube guitar in his gig bag this in his hand or her hand and just go i'm here where's the cab thanks very much boom or here, here you go sound man here's my di that's the other thing mm -hmm. for amps that don't have a di at the back like yeah. i know two nights ago and in quite a lot of amps like that laney over there really handy that, and that that would be my only you know again that, I, I kind of think you know the two the two things that you, you you've you've got to like or you've got to accept when you buy this is num number one i think you've got to like the sound of black star amplifiers it, yeah. to me it sounds like a, a black star amplifier so um and then secondly as well uh i think I don't know that I would argue necessarily that two notes do it better than Black Star in, in the sense of, but they certainly have a wider range yeah. uh, of, um, you know, uh, and a more almost a more sophisticated, you know, you, 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 can, you can find two notes IRs that have been made with 56 different microphones on the cabinet yeah. and different rooms and all kinds of stuff. Whereas obviously on Architects here, you, you're obviously limited to, to what comes out the box. Mm -hmm. But I get that it's, you know, but I said this is half the price of anything that you might get that might have those features on them that I just talked about. So, I mean, I know this went live uh, earlier this week. Yes. I think this video, I don't know when this video is going live, yes. but, you know, and I, and yeah. I know the reaction to it um, was strong right on mm. day one, you know. So I suspect you'll probably already be able to go on the Internet and see some customer reviews for this. But yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, 400 quid, man. That is, that is a lot of kit for oh, that dough. Definitely it is, yeah. And it, I, I love the design of it. I think it's really nice and minimal. Yes, I, I completely agree. Well, there you are. Congratulations, Blackstar. Well done. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please comment below for what you thought. I kind of feel John should play us out. Um, where, right. where, where do you want to go? Do you want to do something epic? Yeah. Stay UK. Do you want epic reverb? Epic and reverb, all epic the gain. Epic reverb, all the gain. Let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> Dirty boy. Feels good, feels good. <laughs> Au revoir!